I get asked a lot, how should I revise? What are the best study techniques? Or I know all the content, but I keep going wrong. What should I do? And that's why in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna be revising part one of biological molecules with you as if I am getting ready for the test. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you should do as your two week plan, what the resources should be, how long to revise for, to show you how to get an A star. Now this type of video is completely new for me, this how to revise and study along with me. So if you do like this video, let me know in the comments and I'll make more of them for all of the different topics and let me know what topic do you want to see me revise next. The first technique that I'm gonna to talk to you about is flashcards. So here is my starting point of what I would be doing if I was revising for biological molecules. I'd be making my set of flashcards. And to make the flashcards, I recommend using my A-level biology notes because at the top of every page, I've got the key terms, keywords that you need to know. And if you're not sure on the definitions, read the notes there within those, or check out my A-level biology videos for all of the biological molecule topics. So let's have a look at how I would go about making those flashcards and how best to use them so they are really effective. Now, it doesn't matter if you do these on paper or electronically, but the key thing is only have one key term or question per card. Don't squeeze all your notes onto one. And I recommend using my A-level notes or my YouTube videos for finding the information to fill in. And that could be what key terms to include, but also it could be what the definitions are themselves. So I've got here a selection of the key terms that you would need for part one of biological molecules. So watch this little bit, you can make the cards at the same time as I am. Now the next type of active recall technique that I really recommend is making concept maps. And if you haven't already seen my concept maps video or seen the latest blog that I made, I will link the video up here so you can watch that. But this is how I recommend to follow my YouTube video and to make those concept maps. Now the YouTube video does have the exact level of detail that you need. So this is just a brief summary and you can see I'm watching the YouTube video as I was making this concept map. So you always start by writing down all the key terms you can think of for that topic. Then you can try and categorize them, shift them around, color code them to show how all the concepts link together. And you can see here, I then went on to make one for protein. So I've listed all the key levels of organization, the definitions, and you can see how I organize the rest. Once you've then got your flashcards, your concept maps, the next thing to really try and test your knowledge is Active Recall. And I've actually designed a whole Active Recall workbook for all of the AQA specification. So that is what I'd be doing next. I'd get the Active Recall workbook and start testing my knowledge, what I can remember and in what level of detail for this topic. And it comes with the answer booklet so you can check what the model answer would be. The final part of your revision would be exam questions. And this is where some people go wrong. They jump into the exam questions straight away, but those should come last. Once you've consolidated your knowledge, check that you know the exact level of detail and all the information, then have a go at the exam questions. And you can actually get hold of free exam questions on my website either linked to the skills or linked by topic. So for biological molecules, I recommend downloading the free topic booklet for topic one. When you're approaching these questions, the best thing to do is to highlight the command words and the key information and bullet point your answers. So many people don't realize that you can bullet point your answers in an exam. It helps to make you be more concise, it's easier for you to check, it's easier for a marker, and you're more likely to definitely address all the marking points. 
You can also underline in each bullet point what you think the mark is for. Once you've done the exam questions, do look through the mark scheme carefully and look for common patterns, common phrases that they insist you say, and they represent that by underlining it. And I recommend writing down a list of those words that are underlined so you know to definitely remember those for this topic. Now let me show you how all of those ideas I would arrange into a two week plan. Now you could use my creating a revision guide document that I've got for this, or just follow this guide that I'm gonna go through with you here. So typically you might be given two weeks notice before a test. So what I'm gonna go through is what you should do in the first week and what you should do in the second week. And if we look at the first week, I recommend every other day you spend one hour revising. And this is what I would do each day. If you haven't already, on day one, let's say that's Monday, you would create your flashcards. Now, if you found out that the test is on a Wednesday, then your day one would be Wednesday, two weeks prior to that. Then on day two, which is two days later, Wednesday, test yourself with those flashcards, as I showed you earlier on in this video, and create one concept map for one of the topics. So this could be on lipids, for example. Day three would be in another two days time. And again, test yourself with the flashcards and now create a second concept map. And that could be on proteins, or it could be on all of those biological molecule tests. Day four, which might be Sunday, is test yourself with your flashcards and then complete part of the Active Recall Workbook. If you have my Active Recall Workbook, if not, you can get yourself a copy or use something similar. So then we get to week two. And in week two, I recommend revising every day, but reduce the time to about 45 minutes. And this is all give or take, depending on how much of the work you have or how many tests, this is just the ideal. So we're up to day five of revision now, which brings us back again to Monday. I would use your flashcards, test yourself with the flashcards, in particular the ones you keep getting wrong, and continue working through my active recall workbook. That will take about 45 minutes. So now we're up to day six of revision, which takes us to Tuesday, because we're revising every day for 45 minutes. Use your flashcards again, because it is so important to really understand every single key term, know the exact words that you need to include in your definitions to get that clarity of answer. Because as you know, the mark schemes are so specific. But now also start to complete exam questions. Day seven, flashcards and the active recall workbook day eight flashcards and exam questions day nine flashcards and exam questions and then i've given myself a little break day and sunday which i'm assuming is the day before the exam but shuffle the days according to when your test is flashcards and the priority will be exam questions at this point so there it is that is my two-week plan how to revise what resources to use and the schedule i recommend to kickstart your revision for this topic head over straight away and watch my full biological molecules video i've put all of the information for that topic in one video so go boost that revision check those key terms straight away and watch that now i really hope you found this new type of video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos